So, hello everyone. I will be testing the Cine Ape of Darwin FPV. And this is my configuration for the Insta360 GO 2. I'm recording directly from that. I will place it here on this uh, mount. So if you want, uh, I will send you, I will probably put uh, the link to the STL file in the description and everything would be as is. I'll still be using a 450 milliampere 4S because I still don't have the, eight, the 850. Uh, it, I think it will be coming out probably next week or, or two weeks from now. But uh, yeah, we will just test how it flies. Uh, previously, I used this uh, mount, uh, the go-to mount, but it is too wobbly and I decided to use this uh, 3D printed TPU mount. Hopefully it will uh, fix the jello on our footage. Okay, so now the Insta360 go to is inside of this uh, mount and it is really well protected. Uh, I think I need to make a footage out of it. Uh, probably this one. <laughs> we'll just get it later on. So this is what it looks like. So that is what it looks like. So the lens this time is well protected. Uh, it, it is uh, this mount captures the Insta360 Go to, so it will not fall later on. So let's go. Let's do this flight. All right. So right now we will be testing the Darwin FPV inside the Insta360 Go to. Okay, so it's okay now. It's air mode. Let's do the test. Let's fly the Cine Ape with Insta 360 Go to. Okay. Okay, I'm experiencing now the the shatter the, uh, that uh, error the rolling screen <laughs> because this is an old firmware. An old firmware of HD zero. The boxer is really good. So, I like how it moves. The gimbal is really nice compared with the Zoro. I'm just a bit uh, dizzy about with this uh, rolling uh, screen. Okay. Let's look at the range. Oh, we're, we're a bit far already. But we don't have any issue with the... I like how the Cine A flies. It's much more stable compared with the Flywoo. Oops. 
probably because of the larger propeller. This will be our second flight. Okay. Okay. Everything is recording now. Let's go. Let's do this flight. Uh, hopefully, I can sync the audio. So I'm just speaking up right now. Let's fly this drone in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Uh, we're in rising mode. It's really too powerful for very short uh, flights. Hey, that's a bit uh that's my dad <laughs> yeah. uh, he's uh, tending to his uh, plants oops 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 no we cannot <laughs> okay I hit a very very small branch. Huh? Air mode. Flip. Also active. Yeah, yeah. 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 Uh -huh. Aunt. 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 Dito sa inyo yung support ka? Hey, what happened? What happened? Thank you. 
I think that would be the <laughs> let's stop it <laughs> right now uh, the battery is not enough to power this uh, flight so sometimes we just stop mid-air and it's frustrating <laughs> the wind is uh, blowing the scene up yeah let's go So now we are also testing the point twenty seven of the firmware of HD zero and so far it is better compared with the previous one. Oh it's too windy. Ooh. Okay. We're having a hard time controlling the drone. It's too windy.
gonna try to do some punch outs because my battery is already um, have a large battery sag so last time it just fell out of the sky because it has no more power oops Oops. Oops. I forgot that it's too large. <laughs> it's not a tiny whoop anymore. <laughs> I forgot that you are very big. <laughs> okay. I was still thinking that it is a small quad. But it's a big one. 